we will grab the cylinder and drag and release into CMLink window. In here, we will specify the dimensions of our wheels. We should give the interior a smaller radius and slightly bigger height. This will make it clearly visible as we can see in the screen. We just copy and paste to create the other wheel. Now it's time for building the upper body of the robot or the pendulum using the brick solid block. And we specify an 18 by 8 by 0.3 centimeters as our dimension and a color of our choice. We then duplicate this shape to make three shelves. The next step is creating the rods. We will do this by importing a cylinder block and make it exactly 25 centimeters long and 5 millimeters in radius. The assembly of these parts requires the rigid transform block. And finally, we group our chassis in a subsystem. Now, the chassis and the cart should be related by a revolute joint, which as you can clearly see, makes it fall and swing like a normal pendulum. We go ahead now and open the PID block. The main parameters to consider here is these three, the proportional, the integral, and the derivative gains. We already can see that our system is stabilized, however, not forever. You can go further and enhance the PID parameters and get a better performance than I did and see you in another video with another idea.